tell me a little bit about yourself. Like who inspired you and how did you get this wonderful cookbook made? Yes, of course. Um, so I'm Althea Brown. I run metmg.com, which is a blog about Guyanese and Caribbean cuisine. So it has a lot of traditional Guyanese and Caribbean things on my blog. But also personally, I'm paleo. So at some point I was like, I should really start sharing like how I actually eat and not the food that I'm making for my family who's not paleo. And so I started sharing like some of the traditional dishes like this pumpkin rice which is made usually with rice. And I would make it with cauliflower rice because I don't eat rice or I try not to eat rice, I have to say. <laughs> rice has a chokehold on me. And it's one of the things that like I try desperately to limit in my diet, but I can't fully eliminate even though I'm paleo-ish. And so um, I started paleo-ish. remixing. Yeah, we, we got to put in that ish there because if someone sees me in the street, they'll be like, I thought you don't eat rice. And now I'll be like stuffing my face with sushi or something. (laughs) So uh, I started making some paleo recipes and sharing it. And I realized that there were so many other Caribbean people who were just like me, who don't eat certain things and are also gluten free. Um, And then I put together this cookbook because I was like, my community needs this. Very nice. So uh, I looked through all of it. I wouldn't even know if I wasn't you know, looking for a paleo dish, half of it I wouldn't even recognize as just being a dietary specific item, you know, because it all just looks so delicious. And that's Uh, exactly what it is. Like a lot of it are just straightforward Caribbean recipes that happen to be paleo that I put together under this banner of Caribbean paleo. And there are a few there that are like grain free and gluten free. I mean, classic chicken stew. You know, you got to make that one. That one's amazing. 